You got it? I'm hanging out with my boy, Peter, here today. So you guys have probably heard or seen the Love Every Toys, and you've probably also seen how expensive they are. So today I thought that I'd just show you all of his Love Every Toys that we have for him and talk about whether or not it's actually worth it. And also I do just want to say Love Every did send us his play gym. <laughs> so here's Peter just playing away on his Love Every play gym. So this is what the entire play gym looks like. It has solid wood and then also this really cute play mat. And I love it because the sides fold in and then you can take them out. And then each side has like a different fun learning theme. So this one like makes sound. So I like to keep his feet on it because he likes to kick it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're noisy with that bell. And then this side here has different fun textures, how things feel. And then this side has color on it. These are colors. And again, I love that you can just fold it up and then it gets hidden away so it's not like super crazy. And then this one is hiding and finding. And so it has this little pocket with a ring in it. And that's the other side. And then additional things on the play gym. It comes with these three um, hanging toys. So first is this batting bell, which is Peter's absolute favorite. Once he figured out that he like can hit it, he just like <laughs> sits here. <laughs> and he's now beginning to start to grab onto it too, which is really fun. And then we have this other one that's like crinkle toy with a little teether ring on it. And then a black and white Montessori ball. And then it has these two little areas where you can put either like a mirror or a black and white contrast card. And then you can also put contrast cards in these little slips um, up at the top. So he likes to look at his high contrast um, while he's laying down and also bat at his bell. So it's like his favorite thing to do right now. But all of the cards come with it as well as the mirror card and additional um, pictures. The other thing that comes with the play gym is this polka dot cover. So you can cover up like uh, two sides of the play gym and it becomes like a tent. The other thing that comes with the play gym is this play guide and this is one of the reasons why I really love Love Every Stuff. So this is a play guide that has all age tabs on it. So you can see it has zero to 12 weeks up to 12 months. And each tab will tell you how you can use and play with the play gym at every stage. And I love this because as a first time parent, it can seem like overwhelming to make sure that you're getting like the right things for your baby at their certain stage. So I love that it literally tells you like how you can use this to play and how it can developmentally like help your baby at every stage so this has been also a really great lifesaver so that we know what kinds of things we can be doing with peter at every age so that's an overall look at like the play gym which i know their play gym is super popular it's like an award-winning play gym <laughs> i hope that bell isn't too annoying but peter is just like he loves it obviously but the play gym is 140 dollars, which i know seems like a lot but honestly, for everything that you get with it, with the three toys and the play mat and all the things, and then to the fact that you can use it from zero to 12 months and it has like a whole guide showing you how you can use it at every stage, I feel like it's, it's pretty worth it, honestly. Also, I'll have links to all of the Love Every stuff that I'm showing you down in the description box down below so you can check it out if you're interested. Okay, just got the boy down for a nap, so now that we aren't listening to any more <laughs> jingling. But also goes to show you just really how much fun he has on his play gym. He really does like it. Okay, so let's talk about play kits because this is a huge part of what Love Every does. So they have play kits that are designed to send you toys that your baby needs for every age so you just basically put in your baby's birth date and then they will send you a it's like a subscription play kit every other month filled with toys that are perfect for your baby's age and development and they are also montessori inspired toys so nothing is going to be like battery operated it's a lot of wooden types of toys and i'll show you all the things that like come in the kits that we've received so far so we decided to sign up for the love every play kit and we got the first one which is like their zero to 12 week play kit and we got it i think when he was maybe like seven weeks old 
just because we had no idea what he actually needed so we decided to sign up for the play kit so first thing that comes in the play kit is a play guide so same thing as like a play guide for the uh, play gym there's a play guide for every play kit and as you can see it's like pretty thick what i love about it is that it talks about like what your baby is going through developmentally at each stage and it also tells you how you can use every toy in the play kit to encourage some sort of development for your baby so here are some of the things that came in the zero to 12 week play kit this is called the looker first off is this high contrast book peter is absolutely obsessed with this this was his favorite thing just it's a wooden book and just filled with little high contrast images he loves all the high contrast and then this other favorite toy is the silicone teether like rattle so it has this ball that pops out like a rattle and then silicone like this we like to have him track it he looks at it like this high contrast all about that high contrast it also came with a little book of lullabies which is fun and then it came with a set of high contrast cards they're also reversible so you kind of get like double the images so this is also included in the kit it's like a stand-up card holder and it's actually really cute too and it like velcros together so you can clip it together but how we use it is we have it set out right next to his changing area because peter preferred to turn his head to one side so we put this on the other side to help try and encourage him to turn his head the other way and then there's also another and there's also another card set for the car actually and we have that up in our car i'll insert like a clip of that but peter looks at that when we're in the car um he is not a huge fan of the car but that really does help calm him down a little bit when he has like something else to look at so those cards and the holder are also included in the zero to 12 week play kit and then the last thing that was included in that play kit were these little mittens and these are like high contrast mittens do you like that? Wow. So the first play kit we bought entirely ourselves. We paid for it and we signed up for the subscription. The way that it works is you get a new play kit sent to you every two months. So we had signed up and we were fully anticipating paying to get the three to four month play kit. But then Love Every did actually send us the three to four month play kit and they also sent us the play gym as well, which we've been loving but i thought i'd show you what comes in the three to four month play kit also i had to run upstairs to go find those mittens and i'm a little out of breath that's a little pathetic so peter is just about to turn three months so these are all new toys that we basically just unboxed and he has been enjoying some of these as well already so first thing that comes with it is again another play guide which talks about what your baby's going through at this stage and then how you can use each toy in the play kit to encourage development for your child so Again, pretty thick, full of lots of good info, especially as a first time parent when you don't really know what's going on, this is really helpful. So what comes in the kit, there's this little book that is about talking to your baby, which I know is like funny, but it's good to start like talking to your baby. So it literally just has like ideas of things that you can like talk to your baby about because they're not gonna respond to you and then you feel weird like trying to talk to your baby. So this was cute. The next thing is this little mirror. So it has a mirror on one side here and then a high contrast image on the other. So we've been putting this down like during tummy time so he can try and look at himself. We just like put it, set it up on his play gym. The next thing, this is his absolute favorite right now, is this book. So this is a fabric book and um, also included in the play kit were all of these additional high contrast cards. So we just put them in the book. But this book has like fun sounds, fun images, more fun things fun things to feel and touch so just makes lots of fun sounds and also fun things to look at so peter is obsessed with this this is what will like also calm him down we sit there and have him look at his book and he like smacks it all around and grabs onto the sides of it and stuff he really likes it the next thing more crinkle noises is this crinkle bag and so just makes lots of fun noise then we have this rubber teether, which is pretty cool. He, Peter's not teething yet, but I know we're gonna have to enter that stage here soon. Then we have this other little silicone teether. It has like silicone beads and then wooden beads here. Teether ring, which is really cute. Then this hand-to-hand -hand disc, which is supposed to be good for like being able to learn how to transfer things from one hand to another. Just a little wooden, little wooden toy. And then we just have like a classic little wooden rattle. 
and this is just a Montessori classic toy it's a wooden cage with a bell in it so you can like roll it across the floor and everything so that's also included in the kit so those are all of the things that are in the three to four month play kit and again love every cent of that to us so we're super grateful for it but we were totally planning to just buy it ourselves so now the question is love every worth it so the cost for the love every play kits is eighty dollars every other month which kind of feels like forty dollars a month and i know <laughs> that it seems like a lot of money when you're like eighty dollars for toys like what the heck but when you break that out forty dollars a month and then you see how many toys that it comes with i feel like it's honestly worth it so our plan for peter's toys is to basically just use the love every is basically just using love every toys we're not planning to get like any other sorts of toys so when you think about it these are all of the toys that he's going to be using and that's coming out to be about forty dollars a month the things that i love about the love every toys is that they're very simple they like look pretty they're cute they're so simple just like wooden toys they're really well made and because they also just look nice i don't mind having them like around the house because they look good i also love that like we're not getting him a bunch of toys that are full of batteries and then light up make noise and do all these like plastic junk because it becomes that it just becomes junk and i like that he's going to be able to like use his own imagination with his toys rather than having it just like full-on entertain him with making its own noises and lights and everything so i think that that's another huge value and that's again more of the montessori style styling of the toys the other thing that i like that i've talked about is the fact that they send you exactly what your baby needs at every stage with the play kits and so you never have to worry about like is my baby getting the right thing or like what kinds of toys should i be getting because i honestly had no clue before i was a parent like what am i what's my baby supposed to get and then even too like as we get into more months i'm like i don't how am i supposed to know exactly what he needs so i like that that's just already done for me and i just receive a box of stuff knowing that this is what's going to be like perfect for him developmentally and is going to help him learn and grow in many ways and also like i've talked about the play guide like this is so helpful knowing like what your baby is going through at every stage and how you can play with them and interact with them and encourage them to like learn and grow so basically i love love every play kids because the toys are really simple and they're really cute and it's also just really easy because i'm going to get sent exactly what my baby needs every stage and i don't need to worry about making sure that he's getting what he needs because it's just all sent to me so yes i would say that love every play kits are definitely worth it and, and we plan to keep getting these play kits for peter i know that you can get them up till i think 36 months and then once they get a little bit older they come every three months instead of every two so that's just something else that you can expect but i think that we'll continue to get these toys for him the other great thing is that once we have them like these are ours to keep like we're keeping them and we plan to have more children and so now like we're building up our toy supply and we can use that for future kids as well which is nice so if you're interested in a love every subscription or the play gym i will have links to those in the description box down below so you can check out the things that we have here but yeah i would highly recommend love every especially if you are a new parent being able to just receive the things that you need for baby is huge and again the toys are really cute and the way that it works for our budget because i am very budget minded is i have a baby line item so we put a hundred dollars a month into a baby fund and that is what we use to help cover any sort of toys or clothing or diapers like anything that we need for peter be, like because he's a baby any sort of baby supplies we put there so i was just fully anticipating using that fund to be able to cover the cost of these toys so that's my little review of our love every toys we definitely are huge fans and i can't recommend them enough so go ahead and check them out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next one bye